guys, Kevin Elizabeth back here with Stacy from The White Flower. Welcome Hi, back, Stacy. Thank you. So in last week's video, we talked about a lot of different gown silhouettes and mentioned that in this week's video, we would be talking all about bustles. So Stacy, tell us what a bustle yeah. is. So a bustle is basically something that happens in alterations that pins up your dress. Mm -hmm. The dress is down for your ceremony, pictures, it looks beautiful, but when it's party time, when you're dancing, you're mingling, this is going to be a nightmare and a pain to maneuver around. So yes. you want to get this up and out of the way. The primary reason for the bustle is so that you don't have to worry about your train stepping on it while you're dancing yes. or having other people step on it, yes. which is no fun. So that is a great reason for a bustle. Um, you can also do like your sunset portraits with your bustle. So typically when I have Ooh. couples, they will have um, the dress will be all the way down, everything before the ceremony. And then usually during cocktail hours, someone will bustle her. Yep. So like right yep. when you make your like grand entrance when you're like bride and groom, it's usually up and out of the way. So you can go into your first dance mm -hmm. and it's pinned up. Um, one of my kind of pet peeves is when I see like the first dance and the train is down because you don't get to dance and have right. a good time because you're worried about your husband yes. um, <laughs> or wife yes. um, walking around and tripping all over it. Yes, definitely. So it's really something fun. And also with the bustle, again, like I mentioned, having pictures with the bustle and without, it's really cool. Um, yep. I find that it's so easy to move around once the dress is bustled. Yes. We don't have to like fluff it out anymore. So portraits go by really fast which is great because I usually only have 10 or 15 minutes for sunset portraits, so mm -hmm. I recommend bustling it for then. Um, so now we are gonna show you guys what a bustle on this dress would look like. Obviously, it's not going to be as clean and seamless as if it was done in alterations because we're just clipping it up, but what we are going to do is have kind of two different kinds of bustles in this dress. So Stacey, yeah. why don't you tell us why? So basically, with any dress that is super clean back here when there's no design, you want to have a French one. Um, that all, all of the like hardware and everything is underneath. Mm -hmm. If you had a traditional, then there'd be random buttons just chilling on this dress, which would look really weird because you'd be like, why? Why is there <laughs> buttons when this dress is so clean? Um, with this dress too, because there is the two different layers, it's going to be two different bustles. Always keep in mind like in alterations, like there might be additional costs for bustles because if there's two, two bustles, more money, more work. Mm -hmm. uh, so just kind of think about that for alterations and when you're looking at your dress and thinking of what it would look like for the reception. Yes. Um, and one thing you guys can do during your dress search appointments is you can actually ask your stylist yep. to clip up a bustle like we're gonna do so you can see what the dress you love would look like with yep. the bustle so that you can fully envision how it's gonna look from mm -hmm. the beginning to the end of the day. Yep. So we are gonna get this guy clipped up and then show you what the bustle looks like. So Stacy mm -hmm. has clipped up this bustle for us again like I mentioned if this was done in alterations it would be a lot more seamless because we yeah. actually have like larger clips under here to hold it up but tell us what this overall look is called in terms yep. of what type of bustle so this first layer this is a french bustle so mm -hmm. the french bustle is what goes it goes underneath so there'll mm -hmm. be like ties underneath that you tie them together it kind of creates this sort of little like bubble look right here so it's just this piece right here and then the lining i did the traditional and so the traditional just pins up. So the main difference, the French goes underneath, traditional pins up. Yeah. So like when like you are at your final fitting, make sure you have your bridesmaids or your mother, mother-in-law, whoever is learning how to do the bustle, mm -hmm. super important that they're there for the uh, final yes. fitting. <laughs> so then photographers and wedding planners don't have to freak out and try and figure out what yes. bustle is. Because we don't know. We yeah. weren't there and it could take us forever to figure out how. And each dress is different. Yes. So they would be, like a tie here, a tie here, and it ties together and it all goes underneath. Mm -hmm. So the French one is underneath, while the traditional, which we'll show you on another dress as well, the traditional, there'll be a little loop and a button and then it goes up like that. Yeah. So this one's kind of cool because you get both. Yes. So I guess like if we were to take my skirt, for example, yep. the, <laughs> um, so I would take like this, pin it up here. Yep. And that would be a what kind of bustle? That is the traditional. Okay. Now, if I took the underneath mm -hmm. without going too high <laughs> and put it up under here, that would be? That's the French. Okay, yep. cool. So now we're going to show you guys what a traditional bustle looks like on a different dress. Okay, so we are back with a completely different dress. This is by Martina Liana, who is known for her very dramatic trains. Mm -hmm. So the train is a lot of the reason why that we're going to do a different kind of bustle. 
Yes. Um, so with a dress that has the really, really long trains, I am partial to a traditional bustle. I think they are beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, I had an obnoxiously long train and I had a <laughs> traditional bustle and it's beautiful. Um, so like what we were saying earlier, this would just pin up. Mm -hmm. That way you get to still see all of the beautiful detail, all of the beautiful lace in the scallops without missing half of the dress. Yes, so that is something that is really cool. You get to still show off that train of the dress. It's not hidden underneath mm -hmm. like the other bustle we showed you guys. So we are gonna go ahead and clip this and show you what the final bustle would look like. Stacy has bustled this beauty. Obviously we've got clips on the outside this time. So Ignore imagine, that. <laughs> imagine <laughs> if they were just tiny little nothings mm -hmm. just right attached to the dress instead of big clips so let's talk about this bustle yep so give me a back seam so anything that has like a seam right here I love for a traditional bustle. Mm -hmm. uh, we have alterations in-house. Our seamstress, her name is Mary. She is amazing and she's kind of known for her fabulous traditional bustles. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of roughly what she would create. Mm -hmm. um, so there'll be several different points to make sure that it's even all the way around. Mm -hmm. There'll be little loops hidden through here and then there'll be buttons hidden along this seam right here. So the reason why I love a seam like this is because it'll hide the buttons. Like they'll lift up this little lace piece and then they'll hide a button underneath. And so that what you that's where you loop um, it onto. Okay. And so it'll be even all the way around. And then once it is all pinned up, you kind of tuck it in so then the folds kind of fall onto each other. Mm -hmm. So it just gives it this really beautiful pleat. Yeah. So like you've got these little billows yeah. here and then that's what gets tucked in so that it looks like a really seamless part of the dress like somebody wouldn't look at this and be like what's happening with that dress no. what do they do it would just seem like part of it in their mind yes so that is really cool that's a good way to maintain that beautiful train detail but have it off the ground for your wedding yes. um, so the last thing i wanted to mention is that in some very rare cases like with my wedding dress you might not want a bustle but the thing with that is that you're going to have to have virtually no train. Yes. So when I had my wedding dress, uh, it was all tulle on the bottom, so there was no train detail. And the seamstress that I went to at the time showed me what a bustle would look like, and I was like, no thank you. So what I ended up asking her to do was to chop off almost all of the train in the back so that it was just barely longer in the back, and that way it wasn't in the way at all. I also wanted this because I wanted less stuff for my photography team to have to fluff out around me. Like, I just wanted pictures to go fast. I spend so much time doing that on wedding days that I didn't want to do it for myself. So if you are somebody who's got a skirt of your dress with no detail, and you just want to hack it off so it's all a nice length for dancing and moving around, then you can totally do that and you wouldn't need a bustle. Yep. But I would say that's extremely rare. So most people are going to want their train. Oh, They're man. going to do a bustle. Yes. So it's just really up to you. But I would say if you're gonna pick a dress with beautiful detailing like this on the train, keep it and do the bustle. Yes. Only hack it off if there's literally nothing there and you can't stand the idea of messing with your dress. But anyways, that is pretty much it about bustles. If you guys have any future video suggestions for us, leave them down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and we will see you guys next time. Bye.